Cam guys, body camera, so I'm going to give that to the local police now unless you come and apologise, yeah? This video was posted on social media by a blind man who says he was verbally abused while simply walking down the street. Look at the wheels! <laughs> Last year, across 36 police forces in England and Wales, more than 7,300 disability hate crimes were reported, but only 1.6% resulted in perpetrators being charged. 13-year-old Eva has cerebral palsy, and in July, while in her local park with a friend, one of the very first times she'd gone out independently, two teenage boys verbally abused her. I'm calling you names because you were... Yeah, in a wheelchair. Because you were in a wheelchair, yes. Because you were a bit scared, weren't you? Yeah. That day, without even telling her parents, Eva reported the incident to the police online. They were so responsive and demonstrated that they were taking it so seriously. Um, I think it's actually been a really quite an empowering experience in a, in a very strange way. Um, and it's built Eva's confidence that she is going to be looked after and, and listened to. Because of a lack of CCTV or other evidence, the boys that abused Eva weren't caught. Police admit securing evidence in these sorts of incidents can be tough, but say they do try. I think the police service is doing better at this, but the police service also has to do more work in making sure that we identify with victims when a disability hate crime has occurred. It is, a, it is quite a complex area of, of hate, given the fact that dis disability can be both visible and non-visible. Alice and her son Adam both have autism and like Eva, they've been victims of abuse because of their disability. There's nothing I can do to stop it. Uh, you know, I can't protect my own child and my own family. It's not just affecting Adam, it's the onslaught affects the whole family. You know, I've got, I've got small children as well. Knowing her son is frequently a victim of abuse is particularly hurtful for Alice. Along with Eva's family, she hopes that more understanding, awareness and education will result in less disability hate crime. Jessica Savage, 5 News.